Hey, orange one here. So we are right where we left off last time. We got Silas here. We got ourselves the, uh, the bloody reavers. And they're, they're pretty close to our, um, our base. So we need, do need to be a little bit careful here, but I'm not too worried. You know, as long as we're being smart, we'll be fine. We need to not carry around a million things. Yeah, Silas, you're moving faster now. So we've got this backpack, we left it on the road by the rocks. Okay, by the rocks, near the water. Yes. Okay, let's do this. Silas, get up there. So that you can actually start knocking people out. That'd be fantastic. And yeah, this is basically what we're going to be trying to do for this episode is... At, at the very least, take out more of their crossbows. And if they attacked us, I honestly wouldn't be too worried if it was just melee. Um, but it's not going to be just melee. That's the thing. Oh, come on, Silas. You can do it. I believe in you. You're faster than them. There we go. There's one of them. Definitely take um, their bolts. Yeah, our our backpack we're gonna lose. I I can feel it already that it's just gonna disappear. I think we just we took everything that was absolutely essential. I think um, I can see one crossbowman, another one up there. Oh, by the way, in between episodes, these guys got attacked by um, oh god, I I can't remember exactly what it was. There was something that attacked them. It was like some sort of critters that were out here. But yeah, we're going to start off the episode like this is what I'm thinking. Also, I wanted to, while I've got most people listening, I wanted to uh, start another little, uh, I don't know if I would call it a drive. I don't, I don't know what to call it, but you guys remember when you guys went to Caves of Cud and checked out the first video in that series? What I would really like you to do. Just go check out my um, Asari video for Bannerlord. It's like on the cusp of going viral, I think. It's doing pretty well. It's not doing like as well as some other things, but for a period, it was actually my most popular video. Oh look, he's got blood on his on his chest. I didn't realize that. And yeah, I think that what we, I want to do is okay. You're Really, really not that much faster than what they're running at. What if I dump some of these bolts? Do you go a little bit faster? I don't think you do, but... We're gonna do it, just in hopes. Uh, there's two... There's three crossbowmen that I can see right now. If I can get this one from the side here, I think that would be good. Come on. Okay, that's another one of the crossbowmen. And now we're actually near Morn. Okay, so that means that we probably have enough time to maybe knock out one more person. I would like it to be you. But I don't think we're going to be able to without getting spotted by these guys. <clears throat> we can try, but I don't think it's going to work out. But like I said, we can take out these guys in melee. We've got a pretty sizable army actually oh sweet we got them you know what silas also needs to do silas also needs to get more um attack skill anyways and they got some pretty good melee defense it's really just the attack skill that they're lacking right now and i don't think we're going to be able to get the other one that we were hoping to get but we can at least See the blood spiders get annihilated. They might even get a hit in on them. Uh, where are the crossbowmen? There's the crossbowmen. We just want to be careful with that. And it looks to me like they're on the run again. Yeah, kind of. They're kind of on the run again. There's some dude with a crossbow who's actually facing us right there. 
This makes me a little nervous. It looks like we're okay. They're just like healing up. Okay, there's two of them that I can see right there. With crossbows. At least they'll be split up, which means these first few guys will probably get crossbowed while the others are following up. And we'll see what happens from there. I'm a little bit nervous about Sass being in the red. Eh. It looks like they're ignoring us. Yeah, go ahead and get a little bit closer than... Maybe not that close. Are you guys going to get moving or what? It looks like they are. Okay. There's two crossbowmen right there. They're getting going. We're pretty close behind, but... Well, that dude's got a flailing right arm anyway, so he's got to be completely useless in a fight anyways. You guys, though, if we can take him out, would be good. Yeah, I, I do feel like we should let them just kind of attack. And I think we will. They're, they're kind of weakened. I am suspecting that we're going to get some losses. I just don't want Silas to be the loss. I don't think I'm actually even going to have Silas be present for the fight. I think I'm going to send him back for his backpack pretty soon. Because at this point, the difference that he's making is not that great for the actual fight. Maybe we'll try and get like one more target or two. I think we'll just try and get Silas as many as he can before we uh, we actually get to um, the fight. Maybe we'll knock this person out, and then we'll try and knock that person out, and then we'll actually fight you. I think we can handle a dude with a broken right arm. I mean, I could be totally wrong. These guys actually have some pretty good stats. Um, but I'm pretty sure... We got this dude covered. Oh, those guards are coming straight towards us. Are they going to attack? Because don't they do that if you're moving? I thought they attacked you if you're moving. Uh, am I going to be able to... Nice. Okay. Now here's the question. Can we take this dude? I think Silas can take him. Uh, let's go ahead and change out of your rags. You got way better gear and you got a much nicer blade. Just attack him. Oh, you're going to try and go for the crossbow. No, I, I was thinking melee. But that might actually be a really bad idea given your chest wound. Just attack him. No. I meant like this. So if I try and attack unprovoked, how does this go? As long as I get the first attack, I think I'm willing to engage. Yeah, because we're quick enough that we can take you out. Nice. Very cool. Good job, Silas. Um, can he catch them before they get there? I don't think he can. Oh, they've actually stopped in the road. Are they stopping for the Garus? Is this like a Garu crossing right up here? Uh, Silas, go ahead and sneak again. Switch this out. I've got a sneaking suspicion these dudes are gonna attack us if we try and go s and, and knock one of them out. If we're gonna try, we might as well go for you. Nice. Okay, we'll definitely take that. And where's the other crossbowman? Oh man, you're all the way up at the front. Uh, this is super weird. The game's like really bugging out. I mean, I gotta complain too much though. Right? Things seem to be working out well for Silas right now. Nah, I should just let these guys attack. They've got one crossbowman. Now let's go back to where we had your 
Backpack, I think it was right up there. Yeah. You should be fine. As long as you're wearing your armor, you should be okay. Yeah. These other guys, uh, the soldiers. Let's see, we'll get some of the soldiers down here ready to fight in case we really need to, but I don't think that it's gonna actually be that hard of a fight, to be honest. I think we got this down, uh, locked down pretty easily. Yeah, I mean, look at all of our guys. I mean, my friend's got like a crummy leg, but an Ezio's arm, I think it actually Ezio, we upgraded your arm. Yeah, yeah, we did. But still, we should be able to handle this, no problem. Man, since Omega died, it messed up my, my rows. I no longer have my people on the turrets down there. That bothers me. Like, quite a bit, actually. Okay, these dudes are starting to move up on us. Can I look at my crossbow people and tell you all to shoot their crossbow person? Wherever they may be. This person right here. Yep. Um, if we can hit you, I'll be happy. If you hit someone at my towers, though, I will be legitimately impressed. Where's Gus at, though? Oh, Gus, you're not doing your job. Uh, and then... Maurice. I'm gonna let you actually fire at these guys, because they're closer. It's gotta be a lot easier for target. Okay, well, we're hitting a couple of them down there. Oh, did we already get them? Nice. Okay. Yeah, we already got their crossbow person. So the rest of them will go down. Not too bad. And our, our turret people, I think, are getting to the point where they don't really shoot our own on accident anymore. And I think it does happen, but not that, that common. Well... Omega died for nothing. This wasn't even that hard of a raid. Motorist, uh... Keep you away from there. I know you really want to help, but... That's not helping. Oh, also Motorist 2, why... Are you not doing these... Various stations? Let's, uh, let's fix that. Oh, also while we're here, we could try recruiting someone. Let's see, guard two. I think you're the one that I've, I've been using recently. Uh, let's go for, with the healthy one for now. Just make sure that they've not got any weapon. It doesn't look like they do, so I think we'll be able to recruit. Yeah, this should be fine. Nope, we just gotta call us a meat sack. Ouch. Um, Silas, how are you? Where are the rocks? There's some rock. Was it this rock? I want to say maybe it was this rock. There's a Shek arm. Oh, man. <clears throat> Can't seem to see the rock. Is that what this episode's going to be, is searching for the backpack that we just left somewhere? Oh man, don't make me go back and watch the footage. I think I might have to, though. Because I'm not seeing it. There's that little bridge that goes over there. I could have sworn we were not this far back. I feel like we were right there. But maybe we came across here at some point, because I know that we were trying to catch up to them, and we might have caught up to them around here. I honestly feel like we've gone and lost the backpack. 
Um, we'll come down here. We'll check out this little valley. I'm not seeing the rock that we put it down at. Because, you know, there was, like, some sort of, uh, little outcropping. Hmm. That's going to be a problem for me. <laughs> it's not that up there, is it? We weren't in Grey Shelf. I could, I could have sworn we were past Grey Shelf. But maybe it was this. I mean, this is a little rock outcropping. No. Oh, dang it. Okay, I am going to go back and check the footage. I'm going to be just a second. I'll be right back. Okay, so I now know what the thing looks like, roughly, and it does not look like this terrain, so we are heading back the way we came. Apologies. You guys are probably like, it's right there! It's right there, Orange One. And I'm just being a doofus. I'm pretty sure it's back here somewhere. Um, from what I saw, it looked like we had a little bit of like a bank like this. It was like this color. Maybe it's right there. Is that it? Was it at the T-junction? Was I right by it? I think this is it. This is totally the spot we left the backpack. But there's no backpack. Well, that's annoying. Let me just double check that. I'm pretty sure that this is it. Yeah, it looks like Kenshi doesn't want to give us our backpack back. It was like right here. Well, I guess we're going to have to go buy another one of those or steal it off someone or something. Are you guys nomads? Do you have backpacks? Yeah, I don't think they carry backpacks, but they carry animals that have storage containers, I think. Um, I don't think we want to actually buy a creature, but yeah. <clears throat> That's a shame. Do any of you carry a backpack? I know, my thought immediately goes to banditry. Now, I have been considering going to be at peace with the United States. I know, I know. The horrifying idea. But the, um, the thought being that basically, uh, maybe I should send us into Morn. That's also an idea. Then he could maybe get a backpack there. I'm not really sure. Because I, I would like another backpack. I just need to make sure that the guards don't shoot us on sight. But I think we've ran in here, and from what I remember, all the guards are dead. Yeah. Like, all the posts are completely unarmed. Kind of interesting. Town's basically a ghost town. Um, which means these guys, they're gonna be hostile, but I think we can steal from them. We're smart. Okay, yeah, we're here. I'm going to switch that out just for a minute. Just to see what our stealth is like when we come in here. Um, there is a couple of these guys. They probably have some good stuff in here, too. If I run behind him, can I knock him out? Yeah. Take that, Tech Hunter. I'm just gonna search a lot of these things, is what I'm thinking. Can I run across their line of view? Yeah, I can. Amazing. Okay. I wouldn't normally do this because I, I would consider this to be a pretty cheap thing to do. But um, we need a backpack. 
And these guys won't trade with me. Like, if they would take my money, I would I would gladly do business with them. Uh, mm -hmm. Dust coat and ninja rags. We can make those. Huh. Cool. I'm not really interested in that stuff, though. I really would like a backpack. That's really what I'm looking for. Oh, wait, what? Who are you? Oh, there's another guard that's just, like, standing over there. Can I take a small backpack? I'll actually take all of those. Power of goats. Uh, yeah, we're gonna take that. Map of worlds, and I don't think we have those, so I will actually take those. I'll take their food, too. I want to take this as well. Yeah. That looks good to me. And then we can actually... Oh, we gotta lockpick our way out of here. That could be a problem. Uh... Uh-oh. This could be bad. How am I going to do this? Am I going to need to run away and run this guy upstairs and then co go for the door again? How is this going to work? This dude's got stats where he could just one-shot me. Um, I think we're just going to run over here, get him to follow us, and then run back for the door. I don't think I've got too many options, unfortunately. Come over here. I'm gonna run past you and try and pick my way out. Okay. Um, am I gonna be able to get out? Yes, I can. That was actually legit scary. And that dude. Does he have a crossbow? He has a crossbow. So I need to be careful with how I'm leaving here. I don't want to give him a, a clear shot on me. And What you gotta do for some backpacks in this world, huh? Well, at least we got, um... <laughs> get it? Little backpacks? They literally were little backpacks. Um, uh, keep on running. I would like us to look at cybernetics a bit more. I was thinking of getting like a small little outpost near the Black Desert City for us to do trading there. Seeing how they actually will trade with us. You know? Our things, we got a leg and an arm coming up. And you're gladly working on that. Great. Awesome. Do we have another robot component? I'm... Does not look like it. Okay, well, that's a shame. Okay, well now we got the... have a... awkward amount of time now where it's like, okay, well, we're most of the way through an episode and I'm not really sure what to do next. <laughs> um, we do have Beast Traders and Cannibal Swarm coming. Not really anything that I feel like I need to deal with right now. Um, Silas, I'm going to have you drop off some of that gear in here for now. Because quite frankly, I'm not really sure what else to do with it. Uh, put that in there. And our two backpacks. And then I'm actually going to learn this stuff. Oh, we already know where World's End is? That's kind of surprising to me. Oh, wait, no, we, we started off, like, in cannibal territory. That does make sense. Okay. No, we're fine. Um, there's one other thing that we could have Silas do, and that's run him to go get ourselves another guard from the Queen. And pay for our sins. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Probably a good idea. 
then Benedict, did I end up getting you back here? I did. Which means that we've got your iron plates still. Uh, constant battle. How's the armor maker? Found an armor. Looks like you've got... Yeah, you got plenty of space to craft your crafts in. And hey, look, you're starting to make some more of those black and chain uh, things. Just what I wanted. It's perfect. Or was that our one from uh, our guy that fell, that died? I think it was. Um, we do need to cyberdize you, but we aren't getting any robotic parts, which reminds me, we could at least get some cash. We have our grog dude just hanging out here. Looking to sell you more grog if you're willing to buy it. There we go. 23, that's, that's, that'll get you a bionic, right? Not the worst. There's a cannibal swarm that's waiting right by our base, though. It does make me a little nervous. I think I'll wait to deal with them later. But I think we'll do. Just have one person running out at a time right now. I just don't think it's a good idea to be trying to micromanage all that. Oh man, I'm so excited for Bannerlord. I hope you guys are too. I That call to action with the um, Asiri video, what I would really like is if you watch all of the Bannerlord videos that I've put up and put comments and likes on that. It really helps with it going viral when it sees more of those things. So if you can put that up there, if you could share it, that'd be also great. But I know the sharing piece is a little bit harder for a lot of people. Like, eh, I don't really want to put this on social media, you know. Um, but help me out. Give me a give me a little boost. Give me some comments on those uh, those videos. It's such a little backpack. It's such a cute little thing, isn't it? Okay, you should run right past them, yeah. Not too worried about soldiers on the outskirts. We can run right past them. You know, everything besides their chest is actually looking just fine. Oh man, there's actually quite a few of them chasing us. Okay, that is going to make our operation a little bit trickier, but I think it's still doable. Keep on running, I just wanted to see if we could lose those guys. And I think last time we kind of started from here and came in. I don't think we're going to do this in this episode because we're in the last couple minutes. But we'll probably start off the next episode trying to kidnap another one. And this time we're not going for the 90 stat man. We're going to go for the like 100 stat man. Or hyper, whatever you want to call it. In any case, we're getting around half an hour. So I'm going to end here. Uh, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.